last um, talk I did on the magician card, I explained how the magician was a representation of initiation and achieving a mastery over the four elements, the four external elements. The next card in the um, major arcana is the high priestess. And the high priestess represents the entry after initiation into the temple. And the temple is really the universe, it's life. So this is a card that has to do with the new way of perceiving once you have balanced the elements and you begin to look at things with a spiritual perspective of an initiate. This is uh, the High Priestess card as it appears in the deck that I'm, that I'm using. And as you can see, the, the card, this card is very nice because it shows the entryway into the temple and you see the High Priestess in the background uh, only in silhouette. And what this card does show is uh, the, the porchway, the entrance into the temple. And it shows some of the symbols that represent the new elements, the more fundamental elements that you now work with from the point of view of the initiate, which are no longer earth, air, fire, and water, which are the external elements. But you see them in the card here on the side they are in the form of the two keys in the book. And the keys are uh, marked with the symbols. One, the golden key is the sun, and the silver key is the moon. And the book is what you could call the book of the law. So the book represents uh, <clears throat> the transmission of knowledge, or mercury. And the sun and the moon and the book of the law are representative of these three energies. The, the positive and negative, the yin and the yang, is the sun and the moon, the masculine and the feminine. And then the book uh, represents uh, the reception of, of consciousness, of gnosis. These are paralleled in Eastern thought with the three jewels. Of, uh, of, of awareness, which are the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha. And so uh, the Buddha is like the sun, and the Dharma is the moon, and the Sangha is the book. The Sangha means the school. Uh, so part of what this is saying is you are entering into this temple, and it is your temple but it is also the temple of everyone else who has been there along with you or before you or who will come after you. And there is a shared experience of this gnosis, which has been literally put down in all kinds of sacred books, in all kinds of sacred teachings uh, throughout history, the writings of different masters or of their schools. And this is an important a tool that a person can use, but it has to be used guided by those keys, because if not, uh, you've got the tool, but you don't know how to correctly apply it, and the only result is going to be misinterpretation. So external religions have holy books, but they've used these holy books in ways that have very little to do with what the teacher that created them directed them for. And the essence that allows you to make use of this of the teaching is uh, the teaching and the essential truths the dharmas that come behind that teaching so these are keys that allow you into the temple and when you go inside the temple you see that between the columns stands the high priestess and 
the priestess represents the guardian of the mysteries. So the priestess keeps, uh, keeps the truths, the secrets. And so in this context, this, the priestess also represents an aspect of uh, one's own inner consciousness, that part of you that is connected to this mystery and that has always been connected and that you now start to become aware of, that it starts to grow within you, this secret knowledge or this different way of knowing or this gnosis. And the actual altar, the actual uh, experience of the divine is not visible in this card because it's hidden by this veil. Once you're in the state of initiation, you can now see the veil. You can see what you don't know. You don't yet have the experience of the divine, but you have the experience of understanding that there are things beyond your understanding. And this in and of itself is something transformative. So in a practical sense, the High Priestess is a card uh, about connecting to these deeper levels of knowing and of uh, becoming aware of the, the ways in which non-understanding is not uh, a barrier but is an essential part of the whole process. And that one can sometimes know without knowing that you can through things like one's intuition or one's direct experience come to discover truths uh, without being able to discover them in the mind. They are not just truths of the mind anymore, which is an external element. They are truths of the whole being that can only be transmitted through these secret ways, through these secret symbols, because you cannot experience them in a way that you can just tell them to another person and that other person will receive the truth. This is why external teachings will take holy books and will misinterpret them and misunderstand them and start wars or uh, start institutional religions that have little to do with what their, their supposed founders wanted. It's because they are trying to take a direct uh, communication out of something that cannot be directly communicated. In the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu says, the Tao that can be explained is not the Tao. So here you are at the steps of the altar. You are at the, the beginning of the temple. And you are experiencing this veil. And it is a card that indicates that in, at this stage in your development, what you have to do is come to terms with that which you don't know and find other ways of understanding beyond just what it is that your mental processes want you to to try to force an understanding of. When your mind tries to force you to see, to, to create a truth out of something that you don't actually know, what you end up doing is creating a falsehood. But if instead you rely on these elements, on these jewels, you rely on uh, the, the guru, the, the, the teacher or the master, you rely on uh, the essential law, the essential truth of reality, and you rely on the, the received teaching, all of that, not by itself, but through the process of your direct experience and your own intuition, and trust that that is enough without having to make it uh, into something that you can set down and formalize, then you become closer to approaching that veil and trusting that at some point you will get beyond it. This is a card that says you don't have to know everything right away. You just have to stay true. You have to trust and you have to allow the experiences to occur and accept the secrets.